trouble time. All right, I gotta get this guy. I gotta get out. Oh shit, that was hella close. Oh fuck, I wasn't ready for that. Oh my god, guys, this is gonna be a struggle. By the way, guys, this is totally live, so I'm gonna try my best to explain things as I'm going. Yeah, I get this guy on the sea flag. So, um, yeah, just keep in mind it's gonna be really hard to explain things as I'm playing here because I'm trying to get a DNA. I don't want to choke again. I don't want to fail, but. You know, as long as you guys get the initial idea of exactly what I'm doing, you know, it's not that hard to, you know, copy exactly what I'm doing because I'm playing a little strategy here. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make my way towards B because I see somebody's on the flag. So every time you see the flag turn yellow, that means somebody's on it. Duh. And then I'm going to watch the spawns. There's a lot of spawns on this map. You got to watch the corners. Now, this little area that I'm in right now is really good use these use this area to your advantage and check all lines of sight you know just like in my other videos you guys should know the basics by now and i'm using the uav to my advantage look they're all over the map but you better be be careful because uh, you know sometimes people use low profile and they could catch you by surprise like this guy ah uh, they uh, punch you there they are so they're all coming after me they know i'm in here but i'm ready dude i'm pre-aiming Pre-aim all the time, man. I cannot stress enough how many times I've died because of lag, so I always pre-aim. But anyways, uh, this is what I do uh, for the most part. Depending on what flag we have, I will patrol this whole corner, this whole area. And then in order to trick the enemy... Oh, let me get this guy real quick. I'm going to move and rotate closer to the A flag because I'm looking at the clock right now and it looks like we're about to run out of, run out of time. And ideally, I like to... Oh, look at this guy. He just came out of nowhere. Ideally, I like to be on a 15th streak by the end of the first round. Just keep in mind, getting a DNA bomb is really hard to get. There's so many kills, so you need as much time as possible, especially when you're getting closer to your DNA bomb. You don't want to just like you don't end up rushing when you're a few kills away <laughs> you know what I mean and then dying so you want to take your time so that's why it's important to, to play a little bit faster towards the beginning of the streak and then towards the end of the streak uh, it, it'll allow you more time to be patient towards the end if you have more kills I don't know if that just made sense I'm trying to concentrate here but look at these guys I'm gonna get these guys real quick to see if I can get a few kills in you know milk the milk the kills in before the round ends alright so it looks like we're doing pretty good Try to survive the very last 30 seconds of each round. That's the most important thing. I always die in the last 30 seconds. Hide in a corner if you need to. And we're ready for the next round. Okay, so we're spawned here on the A side. Now the very first thing I want to do, and I hope my teammates do, because I'm playing solo here, is capture A flag for score streaks. We got to get our score streaks. And then I hope my teammates get the B flag so we can get them at C. Then I come down here. And then I'm going to peek through this little door, see if we get anyone. Oh, there's already somebody right there. Get that guy on top. Always keep an eye on the top. Now I'm going to move in really quick. Um, check my sides. Oh, there's a guy right there. Drop shot real quick. Yeah. And then there should be spawning over here. Yep, they were. I was right, right there. And then uh, there's two spawns on this side. There's another spawn on the other corner. If they're not there, then they should be there. There you go. There's one guy right there. So keep in mind, you know, keep remember these spawns. You guys got to remember these spawns. Now, this area that I'm in, I don't really like that much. I think it's called the locker room area. Look at that. Checking the spawns, you know, I'm pretty much like doing the whole like holding down area thing here. You know, you can always hold, a, hold an area down anywhere you want. Now, I'm going to come back down here because I don't feel safe in that locker room area. It's just like a maze now. Oh, <laughs> did you see that guy? He fell to his death. Yeah, with an idiot. So, um, yeah, but like I was saying... Uh, you can hold down any area you want in a map just as long as uh, you're in a high enemy traffic area and you've got every corner covered because you don't want to be like dealing with so many. Ah, let me jump here real quick. Hold on. See, this is a good idea here too. If you see somebody on the flag and you know the flag turns yellow, anytime a flag turns a different color, that's when you know that somebody's there. Now, look at these. I'm paying attention to the spawns here. Like I said, there's spawns in almost every corner. Now, this is pretty much the second half of the spawn that I'm patrolling. Well, not the spawn, but the second half of the strategy that I'm doing. I'm just patrolling the underground area. I feel like this underground area is the. Oh, wait. I think somebody's there. I see him on the mini map. I don't know. He could be on top. But I said, okay. Uh, well, no. Wait, is that somebody again? Oh, sh I'm afraid I might fall here. <laughs> oh my god, forget that. Don't risk doing that. Don't risk doing that. You could get shot in midair. Let me call in this UAV real quick. The UAV is so powerful, guys. Look at this. 
I heard this guy. I think he uh, he's trying to jump because of the system hack. I already forgot what I was saying, but you guys get the idea, right? Patrol the underground area. Be quick about it. Always check your lines of sight, um, points of entry, the kill feed, the mini map. Look at this guy. I'm probably gonna let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. Yep, got that guy. Now we have a problem. Now we've got C and B, not ours. Wait, somebody up there. Hold on here. Come on. All right, we're on 25, guys. It's time to concentrate. It's time to concentrate. I'm probably going to switch it up a little. Okay, let's get that guy in. Go. All right, let's see somebody on the mini map. Where the did he go? All right, so we don't have B. I feel like I could get flanked. That's why I'm moving away real quick. But I'm feeling kind of. I'm feeling greedy today. Let's go back and get some more kills. Hopefully, we can. But I highly don't recommend it. Pre aim, pre aim. I'm definitely not going to go out there, though. Forget that. I'm not going out there. Um, a few kills. Okay, here we go. So we're on 26 now. It's calling the system hack. Now I can sound whore. Look at this guy. Look at this. There's another guy right there. I think he fell because the, the I got disabled exosuits. By the way, class set up in the description if you guys are interested. Now I'm going to move here. Check my right. Let's quickly move to this corner like I did before in the beginning. Now, I see a care package here, but I don't see an enemy. But I think they left it there because they know it's fake. If it's dark red, I think it's a fake. So I think at this point... I'm pretty sure I'm one off. Holy shit, hold on. I see somebody on my mini map. I'm scared. Come on, can we get that? Oh! Alright, okay, uh, we got a hit marker on that guy. I'm pretty scared right now. I don't wanna I don't wanna go for that kill. I don't wanna go for that kill right now. I think what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna let my teammate go in there first. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> Use him it's as bait. Come on, come on, come on, yeah! Yeah, we got it, the DNA bomb! So sometimes it, you know uh, to play smart is just more than just map knowledge, you know what I mean? If you want to be a smart player, you do things like that. You know, you use your your, your teammates as bait. You know, use some next level shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys like learned something from this. You know, flank the enemy. Stay on the outskirts of the map. Those corners that I showed you and the underground area. And, you know, don't hang around the locker room area too much. Remember all the spawns that I showed you. Um, you know just try and do everything that i just did hopefully you guys will be successful too because this is what i usually do on this map give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you want to see more of these kind of videos i might do uh riot next i got a really good strategy for that pretty simple pretty simple all right uh leave a comment down below and i'll be back yeah, yeah!